Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome back to another great day of teaching and learning where we will build our brilliance. Because every day we are working towards being brilliant Bobcats. Today we are going to make sure that we are raising the bar and making every moment matter. Let's go ahead and get started with our morning announcements. I'll see you soon. Sydney Fields Elementary students and staff, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, uh, the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual for, with liberty and justice for all. Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership. In my actions, I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of difference. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In our three R approach, teachers and scholars, we are still waiting on the needed repairs for the second floor restroom in the main building. Until further notice, it is to remain closed. With this in mind, it is so important that we stick with our schedule of restroom breaks. Do not allow scholars to go to the restroom on their own. If you are in need of someone to take a student in case of emergency, uh, buzz the office or text one of the members of the admin team and we will escort, escort students, especially our young ladies, because the restroom needs a lot of repairs. And our students in the spotlight. Today we want to shine a light on our scholars who served as safety specialists on yesterday and the Friday before our break. As always, we are so proud of every scholar who is willing to lend a helping hand. Today's classroom spotlight goes to 
our grade three scholars. These scholars were caught being ready to learn on yesterday when both of their teachers were absent. Keep up the great work and activities scholars we will be having our attendance matter meeting on tomorrow morning make sure that you invite someone from your family to come out and you will earn an out of uniform pass our second announcement is that we will have our next theme day on tomorrow tomorrow we are celebrating world unity day this day reminds us that we do not have bullies at our school, that we have a no bully zone at the hill. And in honor of that, tomorrow we are wearing orange with jeans. Our next announcement is a preview of Red Ribbon Week. Make sure that you go home to find your jersey or NFL college sports shirt and your favorite hat. That's Monday and Tuesday's theme for next week. Tomorrow, I will tell you what our theme is for Wednesday so that you can go ahead and get ready. School-wide event and activity. This is just a reminder that if you are in the pink ladies, the meeting will be held tomorrow at 3 30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. And our last announcement for the day is that we will participate in the Great Shake Out. This will take place on Friday at 10:20 a.m. At this time, teachers and scholars, we will have an earthquake drill with everyone in the United States. Every school in the United States has been invited to take part in this worldwide earthquake. And we always want to be a part of something that involves a lot of people. After we take part in the great shakeout, I'll let you know just how many schools and students took part in this worldwide earthquake so let's make sure teachers that we review the expectations for the earthquake as a matter of fact i'll put it in tomorrow's morning announcements just to remind everyone so that we can practice and be ready today we have two very special scholars who celebrate over the break, Adriana Standard had a birthday. Adriana, please forgive me for missing your birthday in yesterday's announcements, but it's okay because today you are gifted an extra day of celebration. Along with Adriana, today is Corderell Thomas's birthday. It was on this day that Corderell was born. Now, we are so excited to have both of you with us at the Hill today so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. Now, Adriana, we hope that your birthday brought you everything that made you smile. But just in case, we're gifting you an extra day. So if you're in the space with Adriana or Corderell today, will you help me give them a special Bobcat birthday shout out by turning, pointing to them and saying happy birthday. PA Energy Uplift Grant Participation. Check out these scholars in Ms. Fleming's homeroom having a discussion on how to save energy. Hey guys, I'm really cold this morning. I wish the heater was on. I know what we can do. Let's we can let light. sunlight in to make it warmer. Oh, that's right. I forgot sunlight is a form of energy. I feel warmer now.
All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication facts, but today you must be ready. Today, we will be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So make sure you are paying close attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. 50 minus 8. 58. Is that correct, scholars? When you subtract, does the number get larger or smaller? If you said smaller, you are correct. Let's use our counting back strategy to see where I made a mistake. Because I want to correct my mistake and find the correct answer, so help me. Remember, when we count back, we put the big number in our head. Let's not only use our counting back strategy, but let's combine it with a number line. And then, scholars, you can decide which of these two strategies work best for you. Will counting back in your head work faster, or do you need a number line? So, let's look at our number 50, and let's count back eight numbers. Ready? Let's go. 49, 48, 47, 46. 45, 44, 43, 42. The correct answer, scholars, is 42. Thank you for helping me to check my work. 8 times 9. 72. Let's use our skip counting strategy to check by work. Let's see if I got this correct. Now we will be skip counting by eight. Remember to skip count, you are adding eight to each number until we get to the number 72. Just like this. So we'll have eight, and eight plus eight is 16. Our next number is 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and 72. And if we count all of the numbers that are right here on our skip counting chart, you will see that there are nine numbers. So we have added eight nine times, but we skip counted to make it faster. And this will help us to learn our multiplication facts. Thank you for helping me to check my work. In our national holidays, today is Women in Military Service for America, the memorial anniversary. So, our challenge question for today is, do you know any women who serve in the military? Do you? Do you think you know any? Do you think we have any women who serve in the military on our podcast staff? I'm here to tell you that we do. Did you know that Miss Jane's grade one teacher is in the military? Did you know that? So today, make sure that you tell her happy Women in Military Service Day. Today's read aloud is entitled, The Memoirs of a Hamster. A question to think about as we listen to this story is, what do you think will happen when the hamster gets out of his cage? Today's read aloud is 10 minutes and 49 seconds long. In addition to our read aloud, we have our Counting by Fives video for scholars in pre-K and K. We have our doggy double, he only a doubles video for our scholars in grades one and two. We're continuing our math strategies for scholars in grade three. And today we are skip counting by nine. 
and for our scholars in grades four and five i know in reading you are comparing and contrasting characters settings and events so today you have a, a video where you will learn and see in real time how characters settings and events are compared now scholars remember we will have our sweet treat our caught being good following the three r approach treat at some point this week you don't want to miss out yesterday you were simply marvelous we might need to have a double treat this week because yesterday was boss's day and i only had two students to come to the office so i truly appreciate each of you i'll be around to see what you are learning so remember every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves achieving our goals and reimagining our future.